Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. I'm recording this on Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. Thanks for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you're part of my life as well. well we've had some technical difficulties. Uh, if you tried to watch the daily devotional video for Monday or Tuesday or even today of this week, they didn't have any sound. Um, I recorded all of this week's videos on Monday and um, and uh, then I went to uh, and uploaded them and then I went to work the election yesterday. And um, so I was at the election from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. And uh, I was told middle of the day that uh, the devotionals didn't have any sound. And I apologize for that. Um, I did record them. <laughs> they did have sound when I recorded them, but uh, but there were technical difficulties. I'm still not sure exactly what happened. I'm going to try to uh, track it down. But um, <clears throat> regardless, um, those videos have to either be re-recorded or not. And I, so I, I wrestled with that question. And um, the truth is I've got stuff I need to do today. Uh, today's supposed to be a retreat day when I would be working on Advent uh, services and that really needs to be done um so i have to do that today i don't have time today to record uh five daily devotional videos um it takes me most of the day to do that and then i need to prep for tonight's uh, genesis bible study so i made the uh difficult decision to not re-record this week's daily devotional videos they were on the topics of uh, the end times and also on and also on uh, stuff related to the flood so here's what i'm going to do i'll take those two topics and i'll bump them into 2023 for sermons and uh you'll get to hear what i have to say about those uh, topics next year um, that's the best that i can do about those uh topics and those videos for this week um yeah so Thank you for hanging with me. I'm sorry for those technical difficulties. Um, uh, there's no Ladies Deeper Life group today at 9.30, but there will be a, a 7 o'clock p.m. Genesis Deep Dive Bible Study tonight, Wednesday night. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday at evening at 7 o'clock, there is 180 Youth Group. And on Friday at 6.30, there's our 30th Young Adults Group, 30-ish Young Adults Group. Uh, on Sunday, we have our church history class at 9 a.m., prayer meeting at 9 a.m., Monday uh, morning service at 10 a.m., and the Christmas choir rehearsal at 4.30. Yesterday was the election, and I just want to say one word about this, and to say that um, the day after election day can be a challenging one for people. Um, we put a lot of hopes on uh, how election outcomes will take place, and, uh, you know, dollars to donuts, you're you're disappointed about one or more of the outcomes of the, the different elections. I know I am. Um, there were some election results across the country I was happy to see and some election results across the country that I was not happy to see. And um, and so uh, it's, it's, it's a challenging day when you have to deal with sort of a mix of, of happiness and disappointment. And you know, of course, the gospel gives us the tools to deal with uh, disappointments, right? We we deal with disappointments by recognizing that God is in control, so it's gaining sort of some theological perspective, um, and also that uh, understanding that politics aren't everything. So we gain some, we, we can gain some uh, perspective over over life in general. That uh, no matter what happens, God is in control that God has our best interests in mind and heart, and that God even uh, has sovereignty over elections. And that's difficult for us to sometimes believe when things turn out the way that we don't uh, want them to. What do we do as a result of, of elections? Well, for the elections that we're happy about, uh, election results we're happy about, we pray for the person who was elected, that God would help them and encourage them, that God would uh, help them to walk a straight and narrow path, that he would keep them safe, um, and that uh, he would, uh, you know, uh, direct them in all wisdom. And what do we do for the election results that we're unhappy with? The same thing, right? We pray for our leaders and those who are in authority over us, whether we 
like the fact that they were elected or not. So we pray for the, the people who were elected who were not happy were elected. We pray that God would keep them safe, that God give them wisdom, that he'd help to prosper them in their way, uh, in a way that uh, results in you know justice and, and good governance uh, in our, our state, in our country, and, and in our world. Um, and we recognize that, uh, that an election result that we don't like is not the end of everything it's uh, it's it's something that's disappointing um but it's not the end of everything um that is definitely in god's control the end of everything and uh we are looking forward to the end of any everything in some ways because it will mean the return of jesus so um yeah you know some perspective on the day after election day um I am prepared to preach on this topic. What does the Bible say about divorce and remarriage on Sunday, Sunday at, at uh, 10 o'clock a.m. at our Sunday morning service at New Beginnings Church. I hope to see you there. Um, and I'll be back with daily devotional videos um, on Monday. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you that in your love for us, uh, Lord, you uh, bring about disappointing, <laughs> you allow disappointing situations to take place, whether it's uh, disappointing technical problems with daily devotional videos, whether it's disappointing elections results or uh, other disappointments in our lives. Uh, you use the disappointments in our lives to teach us to trust in you and not in things on this earth. Lord, help us to take that lesson um, and help us to, to move forward. Help us to be good citizens, to be prayerful uh, about our for our leaders and about the governance of this this land and i pray Lord, that you help us to to yeah to uh to not allow politics to become everything for us in jesus name please bless all the things that are happening the uh deep dive bible study tonight the youth group meeting on thursday the young adults group on friday church uh morning morning church with uh history class and and prayer and morning service on Sunday, and then and then the uh, choir rehearsal Sunday evening. All these things, Lord, please uh, may you be glorified, and and may things go well. Uh, we love you, Lord, and we trust you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks so much for joining me for this daily update and sort of devotional video. I love you, New Beginnings, and I look forward to talking to you again in these videos on Monday.